How did a little state that rests alongside the banks of a mighty river make so many contributions to American letters and literature? That's the question posed early on in eighth place like Mississippi, Ralph Eubanks' new book about his home state. And he's got a point, the state produced Eudora Welty, Richard Wright, William Faulkner, Jesmyn Ward, and so many others, all spinning stories of the South and class and gender and race. Eubanks wanted to explore how the place shapes the writing, and how the writing shapes our understanding of the place. In the book, he uses a quote that's often attributed to Faulkner, to understand the world, you must first understand a place like Mississippi. Eubanks says it's not actually clear if Faulkner ever said that, or if people just wanted him to say that. But either way, he says, he believes it's true. There's so much that you can learn about the world, and I would say about this country, from studying what Mississippi writers have done and written about this place, which I think telescopes onto our larger national issues, and even some of our larger international ones. On what Mississippi can say about our national issues he always say that to find a good Mississippi story, you have to explore the silences. It's the things that people don't talk about. And I think in this country, there are lots of things that we don't talk about. But in Mississippi, we are getting to the point where we are talking about a lot of those things and we're exploring them and we're probing them as deeply as we possibly can. I think Natasha Trithui does that exceptionally well in her poetry. And I begin this book not in the place where we think Mississippi literature begins, which would be in Oxford or in the Mississippi Delta, but on the Gulf Coast, right there in Gulfport, where in her poem Theories of Time and Space, she says, go to this point, bring only your tome of memory and your blank pages, and begin their dot and that's exactly what I did. It was it gave me a sense, too, of what that silence was and maybe some of the things that people didn't talk about, looking out at Ship Island, thinking about the native guard that no one ever talked about, and no one talked about until Trethaway wrote her collection, Native Guard, 